Unit 4, Relations, Lesson 3, Trends, Interpolation, and Extrapolation. So today what we're going to be looking at is how you get extra information from a graph. So we talked about trends in the previous lesson when we looked at the hours a student studies and the effect that that has on their marks. Uh, we can also use graphs to um, get information that the graph does actually not provide. Uh, and then we can use it to predict future trends. So interpolation, if you look at the word interpolate, you see the word in. And it is used to get a midpoint value between two sets of data. So let's say, for example, you have data from 2000 and 5 and 2007 but you don't have 2006 interpolation would be what you would use to estimate that middle point so you have two measurements and you want to um, estimate a middle point extrapolate I'm going to highlight the word X so I want you to think of exit meaning outside so extrapolation is used when you want to predict future trends so let's say you have information to the year 2010, um, but you want to predict what the measurement will be in 2015. Uh, you can estimate beyond the values that you have in order to extrapolate what might be the value in a future year. So the first example, uh, we're going to take a look at the monthly rent for a three bedroom house in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And the data set that we're given is from 1998 to 2003. So the rent values are 900, then it goes up to 954 in the next year, 1011, 1072, 1136, and 1204. So just by looking at it, you can see that as the years pass, the rent is increasing. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a bar graph of our data. So I've gone ahead and I've made lines just to help me um, make an accurate bar graph. So you could do that as well. So if you want to press pause on the video right now and then just take a ruler and then just draw lines across just to help you with your um, bar graph. So the first year is 1998 and it's at 900. So if I go to my graph, uh, 900 is the midpoint between 800 and 1000, so it will look approximately like that, so right in the middle. And then the next one, nine, um, 1999, it's at 954, so a little bit higher, a little bit closer to the 1000 mark. <laughs> And then the year 2000, we're at just over a thousand. So again, I'm gonna make my line like that and then just a little bit over the line like so. Uh, 2001 is 1072. So that's going to be a little bit less than at the halfway point. Like that. Uh, 2002, 1,136, so a little bit closer to that top line. And then 2003, we're at uh, 1,204, so just slightly over that line. Okay, so our bar graph corresponds with, with the trend that as time goes on, the values of the rent increases. So it says, for B, it says describe the trends in rent. So uh, we can see that the rent is increasing, um, but if you want to further uh, figure out by how much, what we can do is if you look at your rent for um, 1999 and you compare it to uh, 900 from the year before, it definitely increases, but we don't know what the percentage is. So if you do 954 divided by 900, you get 1.06. So that 0 0.06 means that from this year to this year, it increased by 6%. I can do the same thing for the next year. Uh, so 1,000, one, uh, sorry, 1,011 
divided by 954 gives me 1.0597. So again, that means that it increased by approximately 6%. I'll keep going, 1,072 divided by 1,100, and that increased, so in between these years, it increased by 6%, and if I keep going every year, the rent is increasing by 6%. So for B, where it says describe the trends in rent, I could say every year, Rent increases by 6%. And every year it's been pretty consistent. I think one year was uh, 5.97, but that can be rounded to 6% if we're rounding to the nearest whole number. So that is um, the trends. So in C it says predict the mean rent for a three bedroom house in Sault Ste. Marie in 2006. So our data actually uh, stops in 2003. So if we want to go beyond our data set, if we go up to our original um, definitions here. To estimate a value beyond the range of set of data, we need to extrapolate. So what we can do is because we know that for the last uh, one, two, three, four, five, six years, the, the rent has increased by 6% consistently, it is safe to assume that um, every year after 2003, that it will also increase by 6%. So to do this, I'll show you how uh, it's done. So to do 2004, what I wanna do is take my uh, 2003 rent, so that is 1203 or 1203, and I want to figure out what 6% of that is. So I times that by 0.06. So 1203 times 0 0.06 equals $72.18. So that means in 2004, the rent was 1204 plus $72.18 which gives me one, two, seven, six, and 18 cents. Okay, so that's how you do it. Another way to do it, um, so now that we have 2004, we can do 2005, so we take the previous year. So one, two, seven, six, and we'll just leave it at that because of all of these, uh, they don't have any sense. Um, and if I want to increase it by 6%, I can do it another way where I just multiply it by 1.06. So 1276 times 1.06 is equal to, so the rent in 2005 would be 1353. I'm just rounding to the nearest whole number. So then for the final year, 2006, what I would do is take my 2005 price Multiply that by 1.06, so 1353 times 1.06 is equal to 1,434. And again, I'm just rounding it to the nearest um, dollar. So that means in 2006, you can predict that the average rent would be 1,434. So that concludes our lesson. Um, so I'd like you to try the worksheet called Trends Interpolation. Whoopsie. Trends Interpolation and Extrapolation. Uh, make sure you're checking your answers with the answer key.